Mayflom here. I've got some vinyl. This is just, I call it sticker vinyl or adhesive craft vinyl. We're not ironing it on. We're going to use it like stickers. And what I'm doing today is I'm going to customize this simple little gray pot. Now I'm going to be using this indoors, so I'm not concerned about anything being safe for outdoor weather or anything like that. You're going to want to start off with your mat and color or colors of vinyl up to you. And you're going to want to place your vinyl on the mat. Mine is just exactly the right size. And then you're also going to want to really make sure that you press this down. You do not want it. Watch if I don't. Whoop. You see how that just rolled right up? We don't want that. We want to take a tool and we want to take a moment, not in a hurry. And we really want to sit here and just make sure that our vinyl is actually attached. This is a low tack adhesive mat. I like to use this sometimes for my vinyl work because it, especially when it doesn't need a super sticky mat. So I just like to work one end to the other and get everything nice and set. Next step, we're going to find a pattern that we like. Any pattern that you like at all. I know see that there's a whole bunch of fun ones here. I mean, really, we have a lot of options already built in. You could use your own design if you have a design that you already know you want to use. I'm looking for a couple of specific things that I was hoping for. Here's one that I was thinking about. And really, it's going to depend on, you know, what do you see? How do you want to see your design? I really like this one. And I know if you hadn't already, you do want to make sure you measure and my pot will be okay with four inches, but I'm going to make it a little smaller. Three and three quarters should be good. And I've got my vinyl on my mat. We're going to press load. Set. Okay. This is all we have to do. If you're okay with where it's cutting and with vinyl, I like to cut in the corner anyhow because I want to conserve as much space as possible. Now, the only thing we have to do here is push this little tool button and turn on the half cut because we are cutting vinyl and start. And then repeat with any additional patterns that you wish to cut. Once you've cut everything out, now here I have, there's some little tiny designs I thought I might add to the top. But what I'm doing here is just to show you, you're going to weed. And I like to use my little pick tool here. And essentially what we're saying is we're going to remove everything that we do not wish to use in our design. And what that will leave you with, here's my pot here, is something like this. And from here, what you're going to want to do with the iron on, you don't need any other material because you go and iron it on, but since this is the sticker transfer vinyl, what we're going to do is, oh, well, first I'm going to make sure, make sure you don't have any rogue bits and pieces trying to make an appearance. And then you're just going to place this over the top and transfer it from the backing sheet to the transfer material. Usually fairly easy, let's see. Yes, we have a cooperative vinyl. This makes it really great because now I can place this anywhere and nothing will warp or get funky or get tangled on itself. Once you have transferred your vinyl, then you figure out where you would like to put it. And just hold everybody still, of course, and just line it up. I like to start in the middle when it's curved because then what I do is curve around to one side, curve around to the other side like so. And that's really, I find that really helpful because that just helps me make sure everything is actually sticking where it would actually go. That, for example, one side isn't, wonky and as you can see it helped me make sure that my pattern is really nicely aligned and then guess what we're done we just peel this off and I go nice and slow so that if anything is sticking I can just apply a little pressure to transfer it better but it looks like we got an absolutely beautiful transfer yay we did and now this is ready to fill and put 
up. Or if I would like, I could add more designs. Just repeat the exact same process. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. I am gonna sit here and work on weeding. This is the longest part of the process. It does take a bit of time. You can find, I will share a finished picture of this project here in this video, and you can find more on my social media channels as well. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment or any requests for future videos. Always love chatting with you guys about crafting and helping you solve any crafty dilemmas. Until next time, I wish you very happy crafting.